Furthermore, the move to Camp Ashraf, from Camp Ashraf to Camp Liberty, just totally defies common sense. Camp Ashraf is very functional, providing Maliki will let the supplies get in, let the medical equipment get in, and let the people return to their former uh, selves. He won't let them in, and he's determined to undermine the United Nations every step that he possibly can. One other thing about Camp Liberty. We now find Maliki wants PMY, when they get there, to buy the water. When the Americans were there, we dug a well, and we had a water purification system set up, and we bottled our own water. Now Maliki is saying, you have to buy water from us. Apparently, that, that unit, that building, has also been looted, and it has been destroyed. Camp Liberty is now unfit, especially a half a square kilometer for 3,400 people. That's not a camp. That's not a housing area. That's a prison. He already has his list of 121. I worked with those people. As Director Free said, the FBI has already investigated them. Those charges are no more valid than the charges he has brought on Vice President Tariq Hashimi. I worked with Tariq Hashimi and his staff trying to protect Shia and Sunni detainees that we were now releasing. I know he wasn't running hit squads, but he is opposition to Maliki. Maliki is preparing to take over the government in its entirety. And I don't think you'll see another constitution if Maliki keeps on doing what he's doing. What's the way ahead? As we all agree, delist the PMOI. They were never a terrorist organization in the first place. And the criteria does not include appeasing the mullahs of Tehran. We created this problem when we took their weapons. We gave them protected person status. Then when the State Department didn't know what to do, we revoked it and turned them over to Iraq. And Dave Phillips and I have expressed a total disgust that what he worked for and what I worked for is now being totally violated. Can I have that picture up on the screen, please? As this picture is ho hopefully coming up, a few days ago I went by the Reserve Center, the old Reserve Center in Albuquerque. This building could easily house, this building complex, five buildings total, could easily house 500 people. It's fenced in, it's well secured, and it's got kitchens, it's got showers, it's got everything. Here, if they want to take 500 people and process them for the UN, is the ideal place to do it. Throughout the United States... Look to the time. Okay. Throughout the United States, we have plenty of facilities that we could use. Now, if it means putting on this uniform and going back to Irash, Ashraf and helping, I am ready to do it. Now, in closing, in closing, let me say, in closing, let me say one final thing to my brothers and sisters in Ashraf. We were together in 2006. We are together in mission now. We'll be together in mission always. Just as John Kennedy said here in Berlin, ich bin ein Berliner, I am proud to say, ich bin ein Asherah.